Civil defense authorities have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. Medical examination of victims' bodies shows conclusively that the killers are eating the flesh of the people they kill. And so this incredible story becomes more ghastly with each report. It's difficult to imagine such a thing actually happening, but these are the reports we have been receiving and passing on to you, reports which have been verified as completely as is possible in this confused situation. It is happening, and it would appear that no one is safe from this wave of mass crime. somebody might need help, huh? Yeah, something like that. All right, why don't we settle this, oh, mister? We came up. Okay, we're here. Now I suggest we all go back downstairs before any of those things find out we're in here. They can't get in here. You got the whole place boarded up? Yeah, most of it. All but a few spots upstairs. They won't be hard to fix. You're insane. The cellar's the safest place. I'm telling you, they can't get in here. And I'm telling you, those things turned over our car. We were damn lucky to get away at all. Now, you tell me those those things can't get through this lousy pile of wood? His wife and kids downstairs. Kids hurt. Well, I still think we're better off up here. We could strengthen everything up, Mr. Cooper. With all of us working, we can fix this place up in no time. We have everything we need up here. We can take all that stuff downstairs with us. Man, you're really crazy, you know that? You got a million windows up here. All these windows, you're gonna, you're gonna make them strong enough to keep these things out, huh? I told you those things don't have any strength. I smashed three of them and pushed another one out the door. Did you hear me when I told you they turned over our car? Oh, hell, any good five men can do that. That's my point. Only there's not going to be five or even ten. There's going to be twenty, thirty, maybe a hundred of those things. And as soon as they know we're here, this place is going to be crawling with them. Well, if they're that many, they'll probably get us wherever we are. Look, the cellar. The cellar, there's only one door, right? Just one door, that's all we have to protect. Bob and I fix it so it locks and boards from the inside. But up here, all these windows, why, we'd never know where they were going to hit us next. You got a point, Mr. Cooper. But down in the cellar, there's no place to run to. I mean, if they did get in, there'd be no back exit. We'd be done for. Uh... We can get out of here if we have to. And we got windows to see what's going on outside. But down there, with no windows, if a rescue party did come, we wouldn't even know it. But the cellar is the strongest place. The cellar is a death trap. I don't know, Mr. Cooper. I think he's right. You know how many's out there? I don't know. Maybe, maybe six or seven. Look, you two can do whatever you like. I'm going back down to the cellar, and you better decide. Because I'm going to board up that door, and I'm not going to unlock it again, no matter what happens. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Cooper. No, I'm not going to wait. I've made my decision. Now, you make yours. Now, wait a minute. Let's think about this. We can make it to the cellar if we have to. And if we do decide to stay down there, we'll need some things from up here. So let's at least consider this a while. You bought yourself in the cellar and those things get in the house, you've had it. At least up here you have a fighting chance. Yeah, it looks like about eight or ten out there now. There's more than there were. There are a lot out back, too.
radio upstairs, and I heard a news board. There's a radio upstairs, and you boarded us in down here? I know what I'm doing. What did it say? Nothing. Nothing. They don't know anything yet. But there's mass murder everywhere, and, and people are supposed to look for a safe place to hide. Take the boards off that door. We are staying down here, Helen. Harry, that radio is at least some kind of communication. If the authorities know what's happening, well, they'll send people for us, so they tell us what to do. How are we going to know what's going on if we lock ourselves in the dungeon? We may not enjoy living together, but dying together isn't going to solve anything. Those people aren't our enemies. This is ridiculous. Look at this. There's a million weak spots up here. 